We've got a rainy day out today. Welcome back to your Daily Dose. Casey and I are going shopping. So maybe this is going to be good news that there's not going to be a lot of people shopping today. Because it's rain. But we sort of kind of did figure out what we are doing with the whole place. First of all, we're returning these rods to Amazon because they're too long. Even though they said they were adjustable, they really are not. We, we got to get ones that are like this that we can actually like adjust. So we're going to Costco. We're going to Target and possibly Home Depot to... um figure it out and also are we returning these i don't want to return those yet i want to see how they look up on the wall no matter what i want this height i like the height i'm just not sure about the color i think i want something a little darker so our goal today is to get curtain wait we ordered curtain ron so what's the what do we what do we do <laughs> what are we getting today i know i want to get halloween stuff <laughs> At Costco. If, I'm honestly struggling what we're going for because we did order the rods. Um, I'm gonna put a picture of it right here. This is what we ordered. It's coming Thursday and Friday. So we won't be able to adjust anything today. But I do know Costco has some stuff for Halloween already and I'm already ordering stuff for Halloween. So when you go shopping stuff for the house, it's not gonna be like a five hour day out we're going to get things done and get things that is necessary for the house. Like Halloween, that's very necessary. It's rather interesting. Well, this is rather interesting. This is what Casey makes pretty much every day for avocado toast. Not during the week though. I do not have time for that in the morning. <laughs> well, you would if you got up a little bit earlier. Yeah, but I, I favor my sleep. I'm not doing this the right way. I don't blame you. Okay, so as far as what we're... Who knew that putting up curtain rods was going to be stressful? I don't know. Maybe someone out there is saying it's not stressful. But you could be 40, 50, 60, 70 years old and you're already an expert in the field. I'm only 30. And you know, I never put up curtain rods. But then there could be an argument saying, well, Kyle, I did it in my 20s. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Say goodbye to the pole vault, everybody. Or oh, this could be, what is this sport called, Casey? That's also a one too, where they throw like a spear. I don't know what it's called though. I don't know what it's called. We'll see this summer in the Olympics. It's, I know it's track and field. Chef Casey in the house. You know, this is my favorite breakfast. Off we go on our adventure. Cool thing is a UPS store actually just opened up by us, so. We're uh, returning at UPS, and it, is it free with Amazon? I think it, it is, is, right? Yes, yeah, so you can do Whole Foods or UPS stores going in person, and then there's an option to do UPS, but it's like $7. I don't really understand what that is, but yeah, free. We have gotten like, I wouldn't say so far behind, but since we've been gone for like a while, we really haven't been doing what we needed to do. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I feel like this is something that we need to do now. And if we Catch didn't do it out. today, it would have been pushed off for, for a while. Again, one project at a time. Halloween. Well, <laughs> no. I mean, Halloween! But we're still focusing on the house today, too. So we're going to focus on two different projects. But don't worry. I'll focus on one thing. You can focus on another. Ooh, Pokemoto is now open. Right by the UPS store. This is right by our Publix. It's so nice. The, the funny thing is, too, I'm not, like, trying to avoid the parks. We just obviously need to do a lot a lot of things. And since I've been gone for a while, like, I'm itching to get back in the parks. I haven't been to Animal Kingdom. We haven't been to Magic Kingdom. We've only been to Epcot and Hollywood Studios. We haven't been to Disney Springs. But regular life calls. So here we are. You know as well, this is where my P.O. box would be if I opened one, right here at the UPS store, but I don't know, as of now I'm not, I'm not opening it, but I don't know. Should I, should I guys? Let's just open today. I do. I think I do. Oh yeah, those are the small ones, this is the big one. <laughs> what to do, what to do, what to do. Oh, 
That started off interesting with us. All right, folks, I just got the pricing. Pricing isn't really the concern because I've paid these prices before for a PO box. They're a little bit more expensive at UPS. For my fellow YouTubers out there, it's a lot easier to go to the post office. But I don't know. I don't know what to do. It's I do feel like that was such a fun thing to have on our channel, getting letters, getting boxes sent from you guys all the time. I just, I don't know. I don't know. But a lot of people are going to the Pokemoto. The first thing that opened up in our little complex was Publix. So now we have Jersey Mike's open. We have the brewery that just opened. And we noticed something over here. Oh, it's, Jer it's actual Jeremiah's. Jeremiah's. Oh, no way. Let's drive by real quick. Yeah, we have those coupons too. Remember that we bought from the Boy Scout neighborhood? We do. Jeremiah's Ice. That must be new. Okay. Cool. And something cool about Jeremiah's is that, you see that? You don't go in. We got Peach Valley Cafe, Dental Shop. Ooh, we haven't had these burritos yet. Great Lakes, or Great Clips is here. We have a thing called Great Lake Clips in, in Wisconsin. And then Fat Burger. All right, next up, Costco. We made it to the Millennia area and it's still busy. Rain has stopped. I think Floridians just go about their business no matter what, rain or shine. I mean, we are in the rainy season, but I don't know. We're here. We're gonna get things done. We decided to go to Target first because we might actually end up buying some food at Costco. And just in case we do that, we wanted to go to Target because we're not gonna buy any food here. We get to see the Casey Target experience after all. Ooh, look at all those green plants. Look at this thing. What is it? It's, it's the a hurricane glass. Oh, it's for that. Yes. Mm. No, you see this? If you're looking to get curtains that look like that, that could go on like this the bedroom to the right where we have no idea what to do with. Wait, what? Because that would match the curtains. Don't you want colors like that? To put this in that room? Yeah. This one? Uh -huh. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. I also, that's the art piece I wanted in our back, in the little guest Oh. Box. Do you like it? Yeah, I don't mind it. It's pretty, right? I don't like the frame, though. I don't like that. This will look cool in that spare room that we don't know what to yeah. do with. It's actually a decent chair. I'm really proud of you for finding it. Yeah, I don't mind this. Oh. Cool. Really. You sit in it. See, see if it's comfy. You perfectly kind of match it. It just looks like you belong there. That's nice. We do need another um, plant to replace the one we had in our bedroom that is now in the living room. So either this one could go in the living room or this one could go in the bedroom. Do you think this is too small for a bedroom? Yeah, so that's why I'm thinking, well, they have another one of the, let's see. I do like this one. This how much? better, yeah. How much is it? 150. Oh. I like that tree. Take that before somebody else does. I actually, <laughs> there's, one I actually more. there's one more? There's actually two more. Okay, let's well, let's put that in. I like that. A lot. It's just crazy. We gotta get in the fake plant business. 150 for this. Ugh. This is what I'm gonna look like pushing the cart around. Another plant in the cart. This one's for our bathroom now. I really like what I did with the little guest bath, so I kind of want to do something similar. Now, I did get this same looking plant for the guest bath, but it's the smaller version. This one's a little bit taller. We have more counter space to fill, so this is this is the one I want. I'm trying to be more cinematic with my shots. Ooh, ooh. I wonder if Casey would be interested in something like this. I don't know where we would put it, but oh, the console. Yeah, it looks cool. I actually like this one better. This thing. Yes. Oh. But you know what I was thinking? Eventually, um, if we find like a, a nice like wooden bench, I think it would look nice uh, when you come in through the front door. And on the right hand side where we're putting those curtains. Oh yeah. I was thinking like right in front because then we can sit there to put our shoes on. That would be nice, yeah. but we gotta put curtains up there first. You can't just see sneakily put something in the car. What do we got there? You gotta show everybody here. I got this tray for uh, our kitchen to put our soaps on. How much is it? Fifteen dollars. Wow. We gotta get in the ceramic business too. <laughs> we gotta get in a lot of business. <laughs> 
But for now, we're in the buying business. We're hoping to stimulate the economy. We're also in the creator business. We love the creator business. Probably the best business out there. Not biased at all. No, <laughs> no pillows. I'm here. I'm here. No pillows. No pillows. We have enough pillows. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're boxed out. I'm not letting you see these pillows. Oh, how nice. Beautiful. Keep going. Gorgeous. I'm protecting this wall. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. I don't know what it is with Casey and pillows. I think we have these ones. We don't need more pillows. <laughs> we have so many pillows. That would look good above our bedroom. You actually, like really good. That? Yeah, that. You have said that before. I know. Actually. Yes. It's still here. Love it. I love it a lot. I'm pretty sure my mom has this. Like I'm almost a hundred percent sure. I think that's above their their TV or it's on the downstairs wall. All right. Well, we found some curtain rods, even though we just ordered some. Okay. But this is, this is what happened. We actually have one of these already at home from when we had first moved in. But online, it showed that they didn't sell these anymore. So I thought we needed to like return that one and get new ones. But they have them in store. Maybe they just don't sell them online. So you like this one? Because I liked yeah, it I too. I, I was wondering why we were ordering one. ones online. These no, are um these are more expensive. But we already have one, so technically we're saving money. <laughs> All right, then get two of these. But then which, we can. What size do we have already? Uh, this big one. With the big ones. We have the big one. The ones. But we need a big one for this. Is what we originally had purchased this for. Yeah, this um, is perfect. For the patio. Wait, oh, oh, sorry for the, only... yeah the patio. Oh, no, the porch. Wait, but they no, the patio. This is this is for the patio. We only have one. Is no, right here. One? That's not the same one. Yeah, it is. Oh shoot. So... Shiver me timbers. Wait, so it's on sale then? This one. No, it's on. Oh, it's the same price. Okay. okay. All right, we did find a small one, so I think we're gonna see some curtains today. Heck yeah. Gosh. Wait, you should wait go to cancel home. your order. Oh yeah. Online before it I think it's one's coming today. Okay. Getting curtains is is tough. Not tough work. That's the wrong word. It's just like I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm not an interior designer. Are you sure you want that for the front door? Uh, or sorry, the back door? I don't know. This I'm so confused. I thought we were gonna get ruggable though. We don't need to buy ruggable for everything. Ruggable is kind of, good though. Yeah, but it's expensive. This will be fine. This is just like. Okay, I like it. Just throw it in. It says kitchen though. Yeah, I know, but you don't have to. Do it, Last but not least, we're getting some little bathroom things. Don't we already have this in the guest bathroom? Mm -hmm. So we're getting it for ours too. Yeah, I just like okay. how. Like, I already know Casey so well that if she sees baskets like this, she's gonna walk down the aisle. I know her to the T. No, I you love things like this because you're an organizer. Mm -hmm. Boop. See, now I got to learn how to do these ones because these aren't like the other ones. I got to look up a tutorial right now on how to mount this. It says no drill required though, so hopefully we get to it today because tonight I actually have to go to an after hours at Hollywood Studios. You're going to have to put the plant in the back. Are we all buckled back there? All right. They're not, they're not buckled. They're not buckled, but we'll not buckled. To now on to the fun stuff. I actually think we should get food at Costco. Yeah. I think it'd be nice. Because we actually only go shopping there for non-food things. Like toilet paper, mm -hmm. paper towel. We've never gone shopping there for food. Today's the day. Well, the reason why we don't usually shop for food there is <laughs> because we... No, because we always have like five other places we're going. True. And Costco seems to be one of the first places we go to because we need to get like different kind of groceries later in the day. I don't know, but this is the last stop. Look at us doing a shorter shopping day. Very short. Short, short, short. Uh, left. Yeah, go left. We were somehow wrong. Costco in Florida is always busy. This is actually the furthest we, we had to park. Look at this car. Are they just rocking without a bumper? It's a pirate ship. Okay. I think this is all they have right now for Halloween. How much is this bad boy? I actually really like that it moves. Because you don't really see things like this move anymore. It's gotta be what, like a hundred bucks? It's $89. Follow the Casey we go. <laughs> Does anybody else agree with this? Whoa. I, I've started to enjoy Costco way more than Target. I don't know what it is, but we did get something. Toothbrushes, replacements. 
These are expensive. It's fifty dollars. Crazy. And we gotta get in the sale. toothbrush business. It's on sale. We have to, <laughs> again. Every business is a good business to be in, apparently. Even though we're not gonna buy it, we gotta go down every single aisle. We don't need a fridge, although it would be nice to have one in the the garage. Hey, that's actually not that much. Why did I think a refrigerator was gonna be like three thousand dollars? Like that's actually not I, that's not a bad deal, right? Four fifty for a fridge when we just paid one fifty for a plant. I mean, look at this for a like a mini refrigerator one fifty. That's exactly how much our plant costs, and it's you know the plant's gonna be in the corner. That's how much the plant costs right there. We need one more hose. We're gonna get a hose. Twenty seven bucks. Heck yeah! Holder. We need one. I just washed the car and I had to like completely take off one of the hoses and bring it back. And the ones on Amazon are really expensive. I'm, I'm gonna get this. July 4th is right around the corner and Casey and I have been wanting to put an American flag on the outside of our house forever. The only problem is we don't know how to do that. Like how are we gonna mount that? I know it's there's probably a simple YouTube tutorial but it just looks like screws honestly. Screw it in. But do we want to damage that? And now we're gonna keep it up the whole time. Your mom used to do this all the time, and that's why we wanted to honor Casey's mom. Because yeah, she was. Patriotic. I think it'd be cool. How much is it? I do want a flag outside. $33.99, and that's what, it, that's what it looks like. Costco has some very nice furniture. This desk, $3.99. Oh my gosh. This is like a standing desk. And look, they have slow closing hinges too. Like, oh. come on. It is $400. That's a nice desk. I actually really like it. Seriously, I think for this, I would love this in the room. In the flex space? Yeah, but I don't really like this, like, you know, in my yeah, I room. Wish... I wish this was off, because it's kind of like, I don't know, not my taste, but yeah. this is actually a really nice L-shaped desk. I actually really like this. A lot. Yeah, the standings, 249 for that. I'd rather just get this desk. This is a really, do you want this for you downstairs? You want that downstairs, so I'll buy it. I actually really like it. Put you on the spot. I don't know. I don't think we should rush into this because I don't know. I don't really know what we're doing with that downstairs space yet. Casey's passing. Well, no, no. We're thinking about it. For how long? We're going to, let's do food first and we'll come back. We'll think about it. We'll keep it in the, keep it in our mind. Food for thought. We're getting some uh, peaches, not in Georgia, Florida. These cherry filled danishes look absolutely unbelievable. If only I wasn't on a diet. See like when I'm out in the parks, I can't eat this stuff. Croissants have been added to the basket. $5.99, you can freeze these and make croissant egg sandwiches. Really good, love these. We're gonna try the American raised Wagyu instead of the, the ground beef. We're gonna give it a go. We're in the freezer. Can you see the breath? My breath? It's cold. Casey's in a tank top too. Spinach and cheese ravioli organic. Ooh. Oh. Let's go. Parmesan Reggiano. Reggiano. Love it. Gotta get the blocks. It's fun to grade your own cheese. Mm -hmm. You love doing that. I love doing that. that. One good? We yeah, we can use. Size. This one is $14.13. This is the best price that you can find for this kind of cheese. Oh yeah, because this is like eight bucks at Publix, but it's really small. Of course, the Costco necessities. Just this one right here. Do you need this? No, you like the Charmin. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Throw that in too. Looks like we're almost done, folks. Oh yeah, we do need coffee. Let's go! I don't know why I'm not using it. I like to play a fun game where I just try to remember everything I've put on a list, and at the end I like to review, but Kyle doesn't love that because then I have to go back to the <laughs> store. It smells so good over here. This is such a good deal because it comes in four for 13, and like one of these at Publix is like six, seven bucks. Unless it's on sale. Casey loves these Hello Panda things. We eat these on road trips. They're pretty good, not for you, but what are you gonna do? It's 110 calories for one bag? Oh my gosh, I didn't even know that. You want them or no? <laughs> Look at this. We don't have to get them if we don't want. 
No, they're good. I'm gonna eat them on the way home. Oh, it's full. We gotta return everything. <laughs> Leave it to Florida. Wasn't supposed to rain anymore today, and here we are. Casey's getting us home safe. Made it back. Probably the messiest I've ever seen our place. It actually looks like we're painting. Cause then it look like that's like the tarps on the ground when we're painting the walls. That could be a next project, but I don't even want to talk about the next project right now. We just got to focus on this. I might do some hanging today. So we'll see. I think I'm going to, I just got to figure it out right now. Call me an engineer. It's not an engineer, but look at me. We got one thing installed. Drone hole time. I'm so proud of him. It honestly looks perfect. Should we put on our curtains? Guys, I graduated school. Look at that. Woo! I'm so good. You did so, such wow. A good job. We are officially making it big boy moves. <laughs> time for curtains. Curtains are up. Let's go. Here's what they look like. The curtains are unfortunately just barely kind of touching the ground, but we don't think we're going to go with this color. We just want to install the rod. And, um, we yeah. Do you want me to do the other rods or should we wait? Mm -hmm. You want me to do the other ones? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think if we see all the curtains in here and it like feels like it looks good, then we might just stick with this. If not, I want to go okay. darker probably. Okay. Hmm. Forgot to show you guys, but Casey made us some salad. We actually have our second rod up now, but um, we've got some peach in. Actually, I'll let you talk about it, Casey. All it is is um, some lettuce, peaches cut up with some mozzarella cheese, and then salt, pepper, balsamic, and olive oil. It's good. We did it! About an hour and 45 minutes later and the curtains are good. All level. I'm proud of myself. I feel like my dad. I feel like a handyman. Look at me. Let me, uh, we'll, we'll show you guys once we clean on up because it's a tornado in here. Now presenting our new living room. Come on in. Want to give us a tour? What do we have right here? Right here we have some beautiful blinds, or sorry, curtains. 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 Wow, those are mighty beautiful. Right over here we have some beautiful curtains. Oh, yes. Right over here we have some beautiful oh, curtains. What, what's in between the curtains? Oh, right over here we have this beautiful new artificial plant, which I happen to love for the living room and not for our room, so that that's going to stay here. You know what's going to look really good in that corner hmm. later this year? Hmm. A Christmas tree. Yeah, it's gonna look really good. Or we can even put Christmas tree over here. We can have two. All right, what's behind you? Whoa! Yeah, here have some beautiful curtains. Now, Woo! keep in mind, we do need to steam them, and I need to fix the pleats. I realize I messed up the pleats on here. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna do it in just a few minutes. Uh, I might have messed that one up too, I don't know. That one looks really good. That was my first go around. I don't really know what I did differently, but. We yeah. finally did it. Curtains. I are done. Yeah, are you sticking with the color? Here, yes. actually, say, let's interview in front of the curtains. Okay. There we go, there we go. I was a little nervous when I saw the curtains outside of the package, but before they were on the wall, because they looked a little light. But I feel like when all of them are on here, it it still like looks like a nice contrast without it being too dark. It is darker than the couch. Still not too dark where it like darkens the place. Uh -huh. it, adds, it adds a nice cozy feel. It I adds a nice it pizzazz. I think between that and the greens, I think it looks great. And voila, what you guys saw today, purchased in the front. This was supposed to go by the garage oh. door, but I think that for now it's going to stay here. And then if I we want have a long, a runner, I want a long one. Yeah. We did it. We did it. Let's We're go. We're almost off the living room. Thank gosh. Almost. Thank you. Until we move on to the next project. Uh huh. <laughs> With that, everybody, that is going to be it for your daily dose. We did it. Now I actually feel really inspired 
to hang the curtains over here, whatever curtains we want, because we do have that extra rod. We were actually going to hang curtains there before we actually went to um, the living room, and I think it would be really nice. But those ones I actually want to close. I don't know if Casey's going to close these ones. I don't really know. I think they're just here for the look because she wants to feel like we're in a showroom or a show building. But everything is is coming together. But I do kind of want to ask, should we get curtains like on all the windows down here now? Is that what you're thinking, Casey? I just, I don't know. Is it going to be too... Curtainy? Too curtainy. Um... We do want to replace those blinds, though. So I do feel like this is going to be the last room. I don't think we need to do that. Okay, that's Unless fair. you guys think that we should do all of them. What are your thoughts? Because I actually have no idea. Maybe we do, like, more sheer here. Because that, we need something that's going to be able to close and not be see-through. These are not moving. These are going to be decorative. I don't know. I'm just happy it's done. We did it. I'm going to Hollywood Studios tonight, which I don't know if you guys are going to see that video before this video. So whatever you guys see um, first, um, hope you enjoyed it. But with that, we'll see you guys tomorrow and let's go. Our home project is complete. I guess we can move on to the next one, whatever that's going to be. So with that, we'll see you tomorrow. And that was it for your Daily Deuce. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I can't wait to watch TV here tonight.